We're Mela and Don. And we're traveling full time in our 40 foot bus. Excited! <laughs> you doing okay there? I'm just driving. Okay. With our cats Pizzicato and Mr. Sweetface. He has to have his epic adventure for the day too. <laughs> we can't go any further. So I can't go any further, buddy. This week we're taking you with us to see one of the most spectacular. 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 Not spectacular. Scenic rides in the USA. I mean, it's magnificent. I don't know how we're going to do any riding because I just want to stop and look. <laughs> One of these things that kind of take your breath away. We're staying at Dutch Flat this week. We moved just about a half an hour drive away from Nevada City because there's a place that Don and I both really want to go. We've never been, we've always wanted to go. It's a little hard to take the bus there though. It's quite a bit of elevation. So we're parked and camping down here, but we're gonna take a day trip up to Lake Tahoe today. to make it up here but we have learned that if we treat Eleftheria well she will treat us well so there's just no point in pushing her to go come up here but it does mean we only have this morning we're only like halfway there and I just can't believe how much snow there still is up here it's almost June Holy crap, we have just arrived in Lake Tahoe and it is incredible. Look guys. I've never been anywhere where you can be sitting on the beach and looking at the snow covered mountains. It's pretty spectacular. It's kind of crazy. It's one of these things that kind of take your breath away. I don't know, I hope it comes out on camera because it is a little hazy, it's still early. But I feel like, <gasps> When I see it, like we could go home now and I could be like, oh my God, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and we've only just arrived. Right. Leaving California, entering Nevada. And that's so weird. That's one of the strange things about this place. Like half of Welcome like- Welcome to Nevada. There you go. Half of Lake Tahoe is in Nevada and half of it's in California. I just find that very strange. We're heading over to the Nevada side of the lake because we have something special planned for the day. Because we don't have a lot of time to spend here, we have to look up what's like the best thing to do in Tahoe so that you know we can make the most of today and it's still the water is a little cold for any water activities obviously water activities would you know be at the top of the list for a lake but it's not quite time for that yet so don found a bike path that's supposed to have spectacular views not just any bike path one of the best bike paths in america before we hit the trail we need to get some bike helmets we got some helmets <laughs> it's time to ride so you've probably seen from the thumbnail of this video that I now have a scooter. Yesterday I set up Mello's High Boy Titan electric scooter. It came with the multi-tool you need to set it up, make some adjustments and tighten some screws, and plug it into charge and it was ready to go. If it's easily into the car, just unfold, tighten one joint, it's that easy. Let's go! We're heading out on the East Shore bike path, as it's considered one of the most beautiful bike paths in America. I'm still getting used to controlling it. Like, I've never ridden a scooter before in my life, but it's such a rugged scooter that I think it's really good for a beginner in that way. What about these views? 
I mean, it's magnificent. I don't know how we're going to do any writing because I just want to stop and look. <laughs> Water is this like turquoise, but like clear turquoise color. It's just amazing. I think we get down to the water at the end of this trail. I hope so. We can get really close. It's hard to go very far because every pullout is stunning. Snow mountains in the distance, pine trees, the lake is so clear. It looks like you're in the Caribbean, maybe even bluer. Now there are tons of very lightweight scooters that are foldable and easy to carry. But that's not what I wanted. I wanted something more rugged because, I mean, it's, this is a nice path, but we're often in campgrounds and out in BLM land. And I know that those little scooters aren't going to be able to cut it in gravel or dirt. And I want to be able to go on rides with Don as we travel or wherever we are. So I wanted a scooter with off-road capability. Now, I'm no daredevil, but this thing can actually go pretty fast. I think it goes up to 25 miles per hour and has a 28 mile range before the battery dies. And if it does die on you, you can just keep kicking with your feet. Old fashioned scooter style. <laughs> and it's got these cute side lights. If you're driving at night, you wanna put these on. Now as a complete beginner, I'm really liking the big base it gives me a lot to stand on and then there's this raised little bit at the back which you can put your back foot on and that helps with braking to brace yourself now there is a pro version of this too which is supposed to be even better and fancier but yeah, I'm no daredevil I'm not looking to do any crazy stunts on this thing so I think we got about a mile to go until we get to Sand Harbor Look at that, honey. What do you think? Was it worth the drive? Oh, totally worth the drive. I mean, it's, it's, I keep using the word spectacular, but I, I'm just kind of blown away at how beautiful it is. I, I have no other words for it. There's a lot of times we're editing videos and I say the word majestic about 40 times. So I'm gonna be able to give Mella a hard time about spectacular. about spectacular. That's today's keyword, folks. <laughs> spectacular.
this really is one of the most spectacular places I've been to. We've been so blessed to travel so many places this year and so many places around the world throughout our lives. Uh, this one's standing out. This is a place I want to come back and spend a week here or a month here. Uh, in the summer, I'm sure it's stunning up here in the cool air in the mountains. Being able to jump in the lake, all the water sports. But I've also heard that it could be incredibly crowded. This beach on a typical summer day is completely full of people. So full of people that they actually close the beach and won't allow people in at a certain point. We're here on the shoulder season and I'm really glad we are because this is like practically having the place to ourselves. All right, let's feel what this water is really like. I mean, it's cold. It's not as cold as I expected. Actually, it feels good. <laughs> well, yeah, but I think if you put your whole entire body in there, that, that would be a little too icy. I think it's high as 69 today. The sun is beautiful, making it a kind of a perfect temperature. But you've still got snow melting. That's why that water <laughs> is so cold. We do need to get back. I got some work to do. We got cats that need to be fed. So we're gonna head back in and get some food. back non-stop was really fun. I got a feel for the scooter. Averaged about 9.5 miles an hour coming back, which is pretty much as fast as you can go on the first assist. I have no business going faster than that right now, but it was really fun. We grabbed a little flute. We grabbed a little food. We grabbed a little, we grabbed a little food at the Tunnel Creek Station Cafe right at the end of the trail. But we're gonna head back so we can spend some time with those kids. Yeah, we gotta get get back to the bus. We know it warms up in the afternoon, so We've got food. Let's go. We just got home and look at the pollen <laughs> that is all over the bus. It's all over everything. It doesn't show up as much on the silver, but this is just covered in pollen. You can see it really clear on the black. And we just washed this bus so thoroughly. We got all the sand from the desert off the bus, and now it's covered in pollen. I'm hoping a lot of it just brushes off when we drive, but I think some of it's gonna stay there. <laughs> Literally everything is yellow. All our outdoor furniture too. <laughs> everything. <laughs> oh well. But first things first. As soon as we get home, I have to go and take Mr. Sweetface for a walk. <laughs> What an absolutely amazing way to spend a morning. I wish we could have stayed there longer. We would have stayed all day if it wasn't for the cats. We had somebody ask last week, um, like, do you ever get worried about leaving the cats in the bus and that it's gonna get too hot? And the answer is yes and no. I always worry, but there's a lot of monitoring that goes on. We understand now how the bus heats up. If the sun's on one side of the bus, it's gonna heat up differently than it's on the other side. So we've kind of learned what that is and how long we can go before it's gonna get too hot in the bus. 
we probably could have gone longer, but we always just sort of are on the side of caution and come back just in case it heats up in the afternoon. We'd rather play it safe than sorry with the cats. Mr. Sweetface needs his outdoor time. He, he has to have his epic adventure for the day too. <laughs> you can't go any further. Cause I can't go any further, buddy. But I can without a doubt tell you that I love my scooter and I'm so thrilled that now I can go on rides with Don and not hurt my tailbone that I broke a couple of years ago. I slipped on the bus stairs and landed on my tailbone. It's a huge relief and I'm super excited to be exploring more on my scooter. Did you get him? I don't know that anything else is ever going to be able to top today's ride. I think my first ride was for sure the most scenic ride ever. But that's all the time we have in this area. It's time for us to move on. And we're pretty excited because next up on the agenda, we're moving to the coast of California. Oh. <laughs> Each place in California has been more spectacular than the last. So my standards are pretty high for our next location. Big thanks to Highboy for partnering with us for this video. Until June 20th, save 10% off the entire Highboy website and get a free waterproof electric scooter bag when you spend $500 or more. If you're interested in Highboy electric bikes or scooters, we'll include a link below where you can find all the details.